it just sucked. You know, I was a fantasy, been in fantasy football for about, you know, 10 years, took a break, came back in, had a decent squad, had a very good team. You know, I was, I was happy with what we put together. Justin Fields, uh, Judy didn't play at all. Uh, Gus Edwards in a trade. We got uh, Aaron Rodgers we just picked up off of waivers to be funny. But, you know, to have Dak Prescott and actually start him uh, the weeks when we did. Um, and, and, and really, he would score higher than Justin Fields. And we made a run. You know, we were um, in last place. And we made the playoffs, went all the way to the semis, and uh, we lost, unfortunately, because Stefan Diggs and you know Alvin Kamara basically pooed the bed. And um, you know when you look at the 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 top teams here, granted, you know it was an eight team league, but this was a um, this is an interesting league for me to hop back into. Uh, wasn't top tier by any means, uh, but where I started. Um, to where we finished was very uh, typical of uh, you know my style of play, and uh, you know I think it, it was a good season. Can you talk a little bit about how you go about making those trades in the season and what you do on the waiver wire? Because you always start with a really bad rating, and then you always end up in the playoffs. Um, but again, nine, uh, excuse me, no, thirteen playoff appearances. This is your fourteenth, excuse me, your thirteenth playoff appearance. Talk about that and and not playing or excuse me, coaching for six or seven years and hopping back in. Sure. I mean, I talked about it earlier, you know, not being in it in six or seven years, I think it was a good league for me to get into. And uh, there are quite a bit, there are some amateurs in here, but again, I'm, I'm focused, you know, what, you know, waiver wire wise wasn't uh, great in the beginning of the season, but you know, a couple of weeks before the trade deadline, you know, we were able to pull off a trade for, um, you know, B. John Robinson. We were, we gave up um, for, for, you know, basically at the time, Debo Samuel, who was out uh, for about a week, he wasn't back yet. We had Brandon Ayuk, we had the 49ers defense, so we felt very confident in you know what we were gonna be able to do. And we also, I think I forget who we traded, and and the trade really panned out in our way. Uh, the guy who had, I forget who we even traded with. I think it was Duke's team. He, uh, yeah, it was Duke, and he he didn't even make the play. I think he finished last place. So, you know. I feel in that situation, we got the best of the trade. Um, you know, we weren't going to give up Jameer Gibbs, even though we didn't like the Mike Montgomery situation there. You know, the real play, I think, uh, during the year there, toward, maybe toward the beginning of the year, was, was probably playing Jameer and Mike Montgomery. But, again, that wasn't going to be available to us. Uh, we weren't going to make that trade. Uh, that team did want too much, and we explored every option. So, I think, you know, when the midseason form kicked in, I was able to, to start really seeing it. And we were able to to pick up on those guys. I'd say the one thing that was really different, though, for us was we weren't, you know, picking up those guys like Odell Beckham and Antonio Brown that we were doing in the past midseason. We were we were, we were drafting these guys. You know, we drafted Jameer Gibbs. We drafted.